Yes, yes, I know. He's a, he's a house DJ too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's making house. He just did a house set. I know. Yeah. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go. I, I am so sorry. I was just getting off a phone call. I was planning on doing this all day. Somebody just called me and they can't believe how many people are making house music these days. I mean, some of the biggest artists in the world are now house DJs. I personally think it's a great thing. But we're going to talk about today on Sherm's Word. Let's get into it right now. Everybody's a house DJ. There's a saying that goes around a lot. Everybody's a DJ. And it's true, there are a lot of DJs. I've talked about this so many times. There's no barrier to entry at all anymore if you wanna become a DJ. But one thing I've noticed over the past two or three years, which I personally think is a great thing, everybody's starting to become a house DJ. And today we're gonna to talk about a few reasons I think why that's happening, and some DJs that are actually, I think, doing a great job of transitioning some of their brands into this realm. Now, house is not a fatter trend. It's always been there. In my opinion, it's true dance music. It's dancing music. House is the best. It's my personal favorite. You can do it all day, all night. And that's why some of these older house DJs are so old is because yeah, they might be a little worn out, but they're not head banging. They're not jumping up and down. And I'm seeing that transition a lot. Now it's a smaller market, right? So let's just talk about the whole electronic dance music community, right? There's a lot of different genres. Within the house realm, it's really pretty competitive. And people who don't know a lot about house music think that it's all very similar. I'm assuming that those people hear house music on iPhone speakers. If you are a house producer, if you're a house fan, you know how crazy the music theory and the sound design can be being behind some of these productions. And although simple, there really is a lot that goes into this stuff. Locally, it's very competitive. In a city like Chicago, where it's the home of house music, a lot of people want to be a house DJ, but there's not a lot of places that actually are solely house music. So that means that it's just more competitive to get into. On a global market outside the United States, it's a lot more accepted. It's more of the foundation in a lot of bars and clubs to be playing house music. But in the United States, it's pretty tough to become a big house DJ unless you're making your own music. Now, there are some bigger artists that are transitioning back to the roots, which I think are helping the whole world really actually listen to house music in a different way. Calvin Harris, you may have seen, started this new project called Love Regenerator. He's basically releasing uh, more hard driving techno music, some down tempo breakbeat stuff, which is actually really cool. But for somebody like that to be releasing music really under the Calvin Harris moniker is pretty incredible. Now, Calvin has a lot of roots in the actual acid house game. Um, you know, he's originally from the UK, actually he's Scottish, and he is one of the most talented and well-known people in the entire world in electronic music realm. And He's doing this and loving it. He was just on the Defected live stream, which is one of the biggest house music labels in the world doing a Love Regenerator set. And it's so awesome to see him collaborating with artists like Eli Brown, who if you don't know, is one of the biggest rising house and techno producers in the game right now. So that's been pretty cool to see. Another person, David Guetta. Everybody knows David Guetta, Titanium, Miami, put your hands up. Okay, he actually started a project called Jack Back. And for those that are in the house music game and you didn't know this, that's actually David Guetta. Now, David Guetta got his start actually DJing in gay French clubs doing house music. And he's really an incredible live DJ, actually. A lot of people have their opinions on him, but he's got a lot of deep roots in the house music game. He released his project Jack Back and is releasing tracks that are extremely soulful with underground bass lines and they're really pretty great. I love them. He's got this Survivor edit that he did, Destiny's Child. It's fantastic. So I think it's really cool to see someone so mainstream actually be releasing still house music under a different name. Same thing as Calvin Harris. Let's talk about someone like Diplo who's extremely well received in the American market. This guy over the past couple of years has been t uh, releasing a lot more house music. And I love that. He's such a great producer. He can do basically anything in my opinion, but it's been so awesome to see him actually start a new record label called Higher Ground. He has had releases on there for some low key house guys that I'm big fans of like Born Dirty. And it's been so dope to see him give a platform to other people and release new types of Diplo music on there. You may have heard his new song, On My Mind, Diplo and Side Piece. I'm pretty sure you don't know who Side Piece is, but I'm gonna tell you right now. It's Party Favor and Nitty Gritty. Party Favor and Nitty Gritty and Diplo made a house track. I could end the vlog right here, guys. 
those guys are bass music guys predominantly you know they make some some radio friendly stuff to a certain extent but nitty gritty and party favor man like that is trap music and they're releasing house and it really all comes down to bass and the low end of production for house music a lot of people who are into metal and hard style love dubstep because there's really just this deep driving emotion behind it. And the same thing with house music, man. Like people who make trap music really love house music because house music live is like more bass than a trap show. I'm gonna be straight up with you. That's probably the best part about it. Someone who's even more well-received debatably in the United States, Alesso. Now Alesso is from Sweden and he's of course incredibly talented. He's released so many different types of hits, um, really all um, you know, in the progressive, pop range i would say but he just released a track in the middle that's that's pretty much tech house guys with some with some flirty vocals i mean it's awesome i think it's really incredible to see guys as big as that going over into this realm and also doing dj sets that are house music now there are some lines in the sand that i think should be drawn for example when i was on holy ship i saw jaws back to back snails house set i was like okay come on you know, like, Jaws is the fucking man, but, like, back-to-back -back with snails, like, bro, like, you know, they're dropping Oliver Heldens. It's like, come on, you know, let's, let's stay in our lane to a certain extent here. But it is really awesome to see guys like that and also E. Cali doing house sets, because these guys are great DJs. I'm not coming anything on the set. But it is just crazy to see people wanting to get a little piece of that pie. Now, what I'm also seeing is house artists getting bigger. Number one guy, Fisher. It is absolutely insane the level that he's reached. Guys, that's house music. You all love it. You've always loved it. You just haven't realized it. And it's it's really cool to see house music brands like Dirty Bird getting bigger pretty much every single day. Um, you know, that's such an incredible brand. And it's all rooted around Claude Von Stroke and Justin Martin starting this incredible movement. And now they're doing festivals. Now they're doing campouts. Now they're doing barbecues. I mean, they tour around the country. And it's so incredible to see. And those sell out. I mean, it's incredible. My predictions, guys... Are we're gonna see a little more cross pollination over the next couple of years. I do believe that rappers are gonna get uh, more involved with some of the hip hop producers and the house producers actually in the studio. Like I said, guys, a lot of this comes down to bass. And when you think about music theory and bass lines, there's a lot of different aspects of all these different types of genres that can be actually you know taken into account into other ones. If you looked at the episode I had with Steve Gerard, Steve Gerard listens and produces to a lot of different types of music. And he'll say, he'll take a rap vocal and put it over a tech house track and it'll be incredible. And it's no secret that people love a little bit of vocal or a swing or a little bit of something to give a house track that oomph. And I think that's what we're gonna see, guys. So I'm really excited for the future of house music, honestly. It's so great to see big names, you know, really starting to give a platform to uh, or build a bridge more so from their fan base on a global scale right if you're a Lesso, if you're calvin harris if you're david getta if you're diplo people are going to listen to you right and they're going to listen to the music you made at least once maybe they won't like it but that's more than enough to give guys like me who are trying to make a name for themselves in the house music world because we know how awesome it is they do we just gotta let the rest of the world know so that was another edition of Sherm's Word, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to become a house DJ, shit, come on board.